Okay, so I <coughs> pretty much finished the Pac-Man cab, so I thought I'd do a quick video of it, showing it and everything. Um, it's 99.9% .9 complete. There's just like these little tiddly bits left really to do on it. Um, that I'm just sort of waiting on. Um, basically, you know, I mean, Vic's got to do me a couple of plaques and a bits and bobs. Um, he's got to do me a... Um, a little plaque for in there it's it's three mil deep so he should be able to he said to me he can do me it on a three mil bit of uh, metal but it'll have uh, engraved on it 20p but the zero of the 20 is actually pac-man um, it's gonna look quite cool uh, I like little things like that in fact um, my key if you have a look at the key for the lock just spin it round um, got pac-man key ring on there I like doing little things like that coin mech works and everything um, so I'll just go through the artwork for you. So that's the front artwork there. And uh, we've, we've got the marquee there, lit up nicely. It's got a uh, fluorescent tube in there. Um, a low heat one, it's a 12 volt one. Um, I did put a 240 one in there and it was getting really hot. Um, there's not enough ventilation for it, but now no heat because the 12 volt one doesn't even emanate any heat. But uh, side art there. Um, Got some really nice side art going on there. Got that on. I actually, uh, after all that time, I only just put it on yesterday. So I sat down and uh, got all my bits out, my uh, knives and measuring tools and everything, clips, and we put it all on. Oh, look at that. I tell you, this vinyl, it's not great when it comes down to sticking. But yeah, there we have it. Yeah, and the side up. So it's just a little few little bits. Like for example, because I've got an LCD monitor in there, that's another thing I need to address. Is finding a convenient spot to put the button. If we look round the back, um, what I've done is I've got the um, just sticking out so I can switch it on and off just from there. That's the on and off button. But I'll get that sorted and put conveniently. But really, apart from that. The cab's finished um just those little things the artwork came out really nice i do like the artwork um looks really good the control panel took me three attempts to make i'm not, I'm not talking about the artwork but the actual control panel itself reason why is because every time i drilled the three holes i just was not satisfied or happy with its positioning because i was doing it by hand um but now pretty much spot on there with um, centralization on that and um, really pleased with it so there we have it uh, everything all the artwork was redrawn by me um, I just redrew it I didn't bother you know well I couldn't you know I mean I tried to shrink it down but it just would not fit shrunk so I had to redraw everything the control panel completely redrew from scratch in fact all these dots here um, I redrew one dot at a time, placed each dot, made, made the dot, placed it, made the dot, placed it, then coloured them all in. It wasn't even dragging a bunch of dots in and put them in place. Same with this, I redrew the square um, and everything. Um, so yeah, pretty much everything. Um, even the side art and the front kit plate, um, I redrew all of that as well. And I colour corrected everything as well. The colour wasn't right. Um, I think Arcade Art and Vector Lib, where you can grab the artwork from in Vector File, but the colour just was off. It wasn't right. Like the blacks were dark grey, the yellows was very dull yellow, and things like that. So I did quite a bit of colour correction on that, and um, got it all nice and sorted and looking pucker, as they say. But there we have it. Pac-Man cab, all nice and finished. Well, Pac-Man mini. Um, my kids enjoy it, um, and they do like playing Frogger. If we have a look here, we've got Frogger on there as well. Basically, um, I've disabled all the games except for Pac-Man. It's 48 in one at the moment in there. I've got a real PCB, but at the moment it is for Frogger because my kids absolutely love Frogger. It's weird because it's my grail cab, and I never really introduced my kids to it apart from having it here set as one of the games. But when my kids come up here, they don't say, oh, Pac-Man. They say, oh, Frogger. And they go straight to Frogger and they start playing Frogger on it. So 
in that respect i am extremely glad that i have brought a dedicated frogger it was always it was one of my grail cabs now i've owned one and my kids are going to enjoy it too can't complain can we but there we have it um pac-man cab i'll take a few pics as well and um, i'll post them up and i'll also post up this video there as well but yeah i mean really like it oh um before we go this here this orange this isn't T-Molding. The reason why it's not T-Molding is for two reasons. One, 12 mil T-Molding I can only get in black and white. This is 12 mil. That was the first problem. The second problem is the T-Molding groove. I didn't put one in. Um, I am denied about putting it in, um, but I decided not to. And what I did is I bought this, which is actually edge banding. Came from Germany, I had to buy it from Germany. Um, five meters finished this whole cab. I did order 10 meter, it came in a 10 meter roll. So I've actually got enough to do one more of these cabs. Um, so that's quite good. But yeah, it's edge band, it's all in uh, iron on edge banding as they call it. Um, me and my wife actually put the edge banding on. She helped me do it, which I was quite surprised. I didn't really, you know, I didn't think she would help me, but yeah, she did. Um, she got over, um, she helped me with the iron and holding the, um, the grease proof paper over it and everything and getting it all right. So that was that was brilliant of her. Um, but yeah, here we have it. Next project is my Dino King. As we can see, we've got the uh, Perspex panel there. We've actually got two pieces there. Um, two pieces there. And we've got the artwork as well. Ooh, better hide the artwork. Um, and we've got the control panel in and everything. All hidden away at the moment. But there we have it. But that's the next project. But yep, Pac-Man's all done. Done and dusted and it was a really enjoyable one to do as well thanks guys